going on, guys? Uh, this is the Brian Eraser. Um, I absolutely love this head. It is uh, it's super reliable. Um, as far as strain goes, it's it's totally versatile to to anything you know any other head out there on the market right now. Um, as you can see, there's holes almost every quarter inch going all the way down. So uh, you really can do anything and everything with this head. Um, it's obviously got a bunch of holes at the top. Uh, which is super, super good too. You can really do whatever type of top string you want to on it. Um, this is the first time I'm using actually uh, 20 diamond, and uh, I actually thought it came out pretty sick. Uh, I actually love this pocket a lot. This, this is what I use right now, as far as uh, my setup. Just two straight across and uh, one nylon, just from keeping it from clipping the top of the head. A uh, couple things about the head itself. Its flexibility is uh, is pretty good. I mean, it's got good flex coming back, but um, as far as left to right, it's flexible, but it's it's a lot stiffer, you know, down by the throat, which is really nice. Uh, unlike the uh, the eclipse, where the entire thing completely flexes left and right if the shot comes in, hits the side of your stick. Um, that I've actually had experience with before. I've never uh, never owned an eclipse, and I've never used one. As far as uh, game situations, but I have used one in like practice, and you know just uh, just for like testing and stuff. But I mean, this is this is the lightest or the most uh, standard head to that I would go with. Um, yeah, I mean this pocket is is perfect. Uh, center, center to to low. I mean, I really don't want to try to keep it too high. I see a lot of guys now have a really super high pocket, especially on the erase, just from the versatility of the sidewalls. But uh, that's how I try to keep it. Um, but yeah, that's really about it right now. That's the Brian Eraser. Top. Side. So, uh, yeah. Take it easy, guys.